Hello everybody, it's Chibi, and today I want to do a full manga series review on Bakuman. Now, I have never watched the anime, and I know there's three seasons of this series, and I have never gotten around to watching the anime, but I have read the complete manga. Today, I want to be doing a full series review and talking about this series. I want to try to keep this review spoiler-free-ish as possible for anyone that does not know anything about this series, because I want to get newcomers into this series. It's been a little bit since I've actually sat down and read Bakuman. I I read it about probably about a month ago. I finished reading it and all that. And I finally sat down and said, you know what? I want to get more people to read this because this is a really good series. Bogman pretty much is made by the same uh, really renowned creators of Death Note. If you know who the creators of Death Note are and you love Death Note, the writer and artist of Death Note also comes together to do Bakuman. Now, if you're thinking you're in for a psychological, you know, freaking thriller like Death Note where you see people dying all the time, then no, you're not going to get that in Bakuman. Bakuman is a realistic side of mangaka. If anyone's currently watching the anime Mangaka-san 2 Assistant-san, you probably know what this series Bakuman is going to be about. But it is not comedy. There is comedy, but it's really a slice of life take on Mangaka. And I love that about Bakuman. The more and more I read into Bakuman, the more I felt like the writer and artist of Death Note and Bakuman, this was like their life. They were writing their life down in this manga. Pretty much, this series focuses on the main character and another main character, Akito and Mashiro, and they want to come together and make manga. They want to be manga creators, and they want to write manga, they want to be in Shonen Jump, and they want to just be well-known into the worldwide world. And the main goal of the entire character, the main male character's goal, Mashiro, it might get into a little bit of spoilers right here, but he wants to be with this girl he's always had a crush on since he knew her when he was in middle school, and so he made, like, a goal with her. He's like, I will become a mangaka, and I will get an anime for my manga, and she wants to become an idol. And so when their goals are finally met, when they both meet their goals, they will get married. And now, what's funny is these two characters, the main female character and the main male character, pretty much they have never been with no one, they've never kissed no one, they never had a boyfriend or girlfriend, and so, pretty much, it's like true love. It's a true love factor. Even though the main goal of the main character is to get an anime and eventually get with the person he loves, it shows you a realistic factor of what mangaka have to go through as they try to make weekly deadlines. And it's really shocking. If you've never read this series, you will definitely be shocked because it's just, oh my god, you don't realize all the hell the writers of manga have to go through. I mean, Kishimoto, Oda, Ta Taikubo, I mean, you don't realize probably all the hell they have to go through and when they have to make weekly manga chapters, and you really see that in Bakuman, and you see exactly all the hard work, all the different support they need to be able to write this many chapters or this many pages in one week. And I love that about Bakuman. It's so realistic, and you can definitely feel like this is a real live story. It feels like a real live story, and it feels like the passion of the writer and the artist is definitely conveyed into this manga, and you could definitely feel it. You can really feel it, and it definitely wraps up into a good series. Now, as the manga terms, I want to say this right now. It's 20 volumes long, and the ending-wise, it's a good ending. I'm not going to spoil the ending, but it is a good ending. And I like the ending for what it showed. Everything was, I guess, settled properly. It was a good ending, and so I would recommend this series for anyone that wants a good ride for a manga. If you want a good manga read, and if you're bored and you have some time to kill, and you want to read something that's by the same writers and creators of Death Note, then give Bakuman a try, because you'll definitely be stunned. I never thought I would have gotten into a manga that was about people writing manga. I, honestly, I didn't think about it. So, and honestly, before I started the series, I did not know it was by the same writer and artist from Death Note. And when I got into it, I'm like, there's a Death Note reference in there. There actually is a Death Note reference, I think, in the first or second chapter of Balkaman. And then as soon as I saw the Death Note reference, I looked up online like, well, okay, what's the similarities here? And I found out that it was from the same writer and artist. So I was like, oh, okay. So anyways... Hopefully, I inspired you to want to read Bakuman, because this is a very good series, and it's definitely, on the top level, the best manga I've ever read in my entire life, because it's just so unique out of anything I've ever read. So, everybody, I love you all so much. If you want to see more full manga series reviews or anime series reviews, please let me know in the comments below. I love you all so much. Please be safe. Chibi out.